Hi, Rick here, and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to verify a download of Daedalus Wallet software using the PGP signature and software used to verify the signature is correct. There are many ways of doing this procedure. There's uh, different recommendations, different types of software for people doing it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick strictly to how this procedure is performed using the instructions on the DaedalusWallet.io website because the instructions are very clear, they work, they're very easy to use, and they're also easy to access. They're right there on the web page while you're actually performing the download procedure. I'm going to do two versions of this video, one for Mac and one for Windows. And I'm just going to change the middle of the video. Um, it's going to have the same introduction and the same ending, but you'll have two separate videos for each operating system. So let's get started. Here's how to verify the Daedalus PGP signature for Windows. I'm using Windows Server 2012, but this will work for Windows 7 and Windows 10 as well. I'm going to launch Firefox. And go to DaedalusWallet.io. Go to the download page. And at the download page, I select Verify signature for PGP signature under the Windows 64 bit, and the instructions pop up. Here it says obtain both Daedalus installer execute file and a corresponding execute.asc signature file and put them in the same directory. So we're going to do step one and obtain both files. First, download Daedalus, then download the PGP signature. That was quick. Now we go to step two. Obtain the GNUPG package from gpgforwin.org. Now step three, proceed with installation and launch the Cleopatra component. And here's the Cleopatra component. Here's Cleopatra launched. Step four, unless you already have a personal GPG key, you have to create one, which is required for step six, which is down here. Select the menu item file, new key pair, create personal open PGB key pair.
I entered the name, email, and passphrase. That completed step four. Now I'm on step five. Import the IOHK key. Step one, file lookup on server. Search for signing.authority at iohk.io. I just finished step 5.3 and it took about 15 minutes for these to show up. So just be alert to that. Now I have step 4. I can import the key. So I'm selecting signing authority here, then import here. I'm going to pause and see if it shows up in this window. Well, the next step says, do not certify the key just yet. Right click on the key and choose details and ensure the fingerprint. I think there's an error in these steps. Let me try that again. Look up one server. It finished the importing, it just took a while. So at this point, step four just completed, import the key. And it says you've imported a new certificate in order to make the certificate valid. Green, it needs to be certified. Certify means that you check the fingerprint. Some suggestions to do are this. Phone call, business card, confirming a trusted website. I'm gonna start the process now. It says do not certify the key just yet. Right click on the key and choose details. So I'm going to say no. Right click details and ensure the fingerprint is Delta 3258, etc. Box right Alpha Alpha, 9 Bravo Alpha. Delta 3258, Box right Alpha Alpha, 9 Bravo Alpha. So it's the same key. This would be step six, but it actually says one. Certify the IOH key. This designates trust is required for the next step. One, once you have a personal GPG key, right click on the imported IOH key and choose certify. Right click, certify. New window pops up. Enable the IOHK user ID, this check block right here. Step two, I did that. Step three, tick, I verified the fingerprint and next. Certify only for myself. Certify. Now I got a message that the certificate was not certified because it was already certified by the same certificate. That's because I had already certified this in an earlier step when I was doing a test. Finish. Now it has trust level full right here, which is along the lines of my Step four, you should receive a message saying certification is successful. That was the last pop-up window I just closed. Trust level says full. Next step, verify the installer binary. I'm going to click the decrypt verify button on the Cleopatra toolbar. Choose the Daedalus installer. Open it. The verifying process begins. Move this aside. Step three, if the verification process is successful, you will receive a green tinted message box saying valid signature by signing authority, date of signature, and the certificate. Valid signature by the signing authority, date of signature, and the certificate. We now complete verifying the PGP signature and we can safely install the day list executable. I did have someone on the forums tell me once you have the PGP signature verification software installed, 
you can right click and verify that a file has a valid signature using right click and there it is so I right click the executable and select verify let's see what happens and it worked so thank you those of you on the forum who suggested that that's another method but we were already complete in the file safe now we have additional files in the future we can perform that same procedure I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little something from it. I know I certainly did just by going to the website and performing the procedures. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to click like and subscribe down below. And thank you for watching Digital Fortress. Have a great day. Bye-bye.